Hey guys, Michael here with The Daily Note. So this is actually the introduction to the video that you're about to see where I unbox and I try out the Samsung DeX. And I want to get serious because I'm, I'm just blown away with uh, how amazing this product is. And absolutely, I'm not being paid or endorsed by Samsung in any way. These days, a lot of people are transitioning from doing work on their computers, on their desks, and they're doing a lot of that work on their smartphones. But there are, comes a time, many times a day, where you actually could do a better job with what you're doing on the smartphone if you got to sit down on a computer. The problem is, say that uh, somebody sent you some files and you have it on your smartphone. Now, you, when you need to work on a computer, you need to download th those files on a PC or upload those onto a cloud or email it to yourself so that you could do a better job in front of a large monitor with a keyboard and mouse. And that process is disjointed. It's not fluid anymore. We're kind of just jumping between two devices. What this does is it offers a PC computing experience that's almost as smooth, probably 99% as smooth as a Windows 10 machine. It is absolutely the computer and the mobile device that we need and want right now that people wish that existed. And it looks like Samsung is the first ones to do it. And they're doing a lot of things correctly. Uh, we're at the infancy of this. And I just really hope that this train for the Samsung DeX keep on going because we're not just talking about potential. The platform already exists. It's beautiful. It works great. We just need the apps for it. So anyway, without further ado, here's my normal video of the unboxing and first look at the Samsung DeX. Hey guys, Michael here with The Daily Note, and here's another episode of 300 Days of Note. What we're doing here is we're trying to get the most value and find out new uses for our brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So uh, I think we're about seven days into it. So anyways, uh, today I want to look at the Samsung DeX Station. One thing I noticed right away, where's the Galaxy branding? Why Samsung DeX, not Galaxy DeX? So let's unbox this thing. And uh, I believe this was about, you know, 93, 95 dollars. I thought the price had come down a little bit, but maybe they went up because people are buying the Galaxy Note 8s now and it's in demand again. So uh, let's see. Oh, it's got a decent weight to it, right? It's uh, still plastic. Let's take this thing off. And this thing folds down when you don't need it and reveals itself when you need it. All right. And it's got two USB ports, a Ethernet jack, a USB-C for charging, and a HDMI out. Okay, I don't have a monitor or mouse connected yet, but what happens when you put this in here? Okay, it wants me to unlock. So I guess it's waiting for me to actually connect a monitor and maybe a mouse and a keyboard. So one sec to prepare to connect the Samsung Galaxy DeX station, right? I needed a monitor that's actually powered, I need a HDMI cable, and I need a USB mouse and USB keyboard. So as you can see, my mouse is working. Make sure that all four corners, well, it's HDMI. I think it could figure itself out. Okay, so yeah, Windows button, Windows key on the keyboard kind of does this. All right, interesting. Internet, okay, reddit.com. This feels eerily just like a computer. I mean, that's what it is really. The refresh rate is surprisingly really good. Netflix, how does Netflix look? Okay, and Let's play with this rotate button. Rotate, okay. And, oh, interesting. 
it doesn't like the full screen button. Interesting, it thinks it's already full screen. Could I double click on this? No. Could I stretch this out? Doesn't let me stretch it out. I'm kind of perplexed. But maybe there is a better supported app here. Okay, YouTube, okay. Yeah, YouTube lets me full screen it. Okay. And it's running some kind of uh, Dex version of YouTube, I believe. I could even full screen it there. So that works. This experience already, just by feeling out the refresh rate, right? It's very similar to how I scroll with the computer. It's pretty much a PC, right? It's not like I'm running this full screen in landscape mode and it's trying to project that and there's that kind of lag trying to work with the mouse. I don't feel like I'm kind of using some kind of middle technology. Uh, I feel this is really well implemented. Uh, let's see, settings, game launcher, interesting. Okay, what happens? I just installed a bunch of games. Okay, game launcher now offers a mute feature and full screen mode. Huh. So unlike Netflix that didn't have any options for full screening, this it looks like when you run it through game, when you run the game through the game launcher, it's gonna force the full screen. Okay, so yeah, I just installed all these games today because you know, what else are you gonna do with a 256 gigabyte Galaxy Note? Okay, I think this is a very, oh, okay, some functions. Okay, how do I full screen this? How do I full screen this? I mean, it's running excellent. The graphics are awesome. Right, the refresh rate, I love it. Much better than anything we ever had with the uh, Smart Dock. Oh, here we go, full screen. Full screen mode may cause display issues. Okay, so they're kind of, okay, so just enable that. I'm gonna run this again. And let's see how this runs. It's running perfectly smooth. And I'm loving this already, yeah. Okay, the graphics are good. However, this is a very uh, nicely programmed and optimized game. Try to run something that's actually uh, very intense on the GPU. Interesting. Okay, you just saw that, right? This game, this game can't be launched on Samsung Dex mode. Okay, and here's another thing with uh, this game in particular. This game only runs in portrait mode. So that's why you're getting this, even though the full screen option is enabled, can't do anything. Okay, need for speed, no limits. Maybe we'll get some, uh, maybe we'll get what we're looking for on here. I'm guessing games like this tend to work with a Bluetooth controller. I don't know if this one in particular works with the Bluetooth controller. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So with the right combination of things and a little bit of support from the developer, uh, games have an excellent potential on the Samsung DeX. All right, let's move on to productivity apps. Oh, I could search Word. There we go. Document, where are my tools? Okay, those are my tools. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess as in terms of Microsoft Word. So does it have stuff like uh, track changes? Okay, so it looks like it has a lot of stuff, maybe all of it, although it does look kind of light. You know, I'm not an expert in MS Word for light users. This is excellent for light users of the PC, even for uh, working with Microsoft Office products. You know, I can't see why this wouldn't work. This is exceeding my expectation, right? It's not some um, compromised half solution, right? All the potential is there. Next step is developer support. And for the developer support to come, What's needed is the consumer demand. So I think for a lot of people who use the PC very lightly, this, yeah, this will absolutely work. 
uh, for for like power users and people that work with uh, specialized applications, you're still gonna need a PC, whether it be Windows. Okay, so let's see what happens with Lightroom. So has Light Lightroom been optimized for Dex? Let's you full screen it. They've put a little bit of resources in trying to get their Lightroom app for the uh, Android uh, to work with Samsung Dex. However, you could see the entire UI and the workflow is uh, it's identical to the mobile version. And of course, it would work better if we had uh, a more customized layout for uh, a PC environment, kind of like the Lightroom on a PC version, which is not there. You could say that Samsung Dex is actually providing the platform for everything that needs to run on PC and mobile and have it all working together, but it's not there yet, but it's at its infancy. And I would, I absolutely, absolutely want this to continue. I hope the consumer demand builds for more sophisticated app support. So uh, supposedly there's a fan in here. I guess I wasn't doing anything intensive enough to where it needed the fan, but I could see the, uh, see it warming up. I'm also curious about the battery level. Has it gone up since we started doing this? Okay, the battery is at 83% and I believe we were a little bit lower than 60. So with uh, doing everything we just did, it was still able to charge the device. So we don't need to worry about the uh, charger not being able to keep up with the demands of this device. So anyways, that's my video for today. If you like this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification button next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever I post a video. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.